Hello, YouTube, and welcome to, as you can see, GTA 5 shit talk fest thing. It's been a while since I last talked about GTA 5. In fact, over six months, possibly close to a year. I remember doing it when they released uh, those screenshots about transportation, um, and other stuff activities, I believe, was one of the one of the sets was called. And uh, basically, a lot has happened since then with the game, including a release date that got pushed back. Uh, I believe it was first spring, then it got pushed back to sometime in September. I'm not really sure about the exact date, but. That is when the game will launch for the consoles, PS3 and 360. And of course, the biggest thing apart from that, of course, are the trailers. And three new trailers came out very recently. And uh, someone asked me to do a commentary on those. So I thought I could do it since I haven't talked about it in a long time. I'm still as excited about the game as I was before. Just the fact that they haven't really announced a PC version yet kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, they haven't um, confirmed that there will be no PC version, so I'm I'm sure that the same thing will happen with uh with this game that happened with GTA 4, which was uh, that there was a six month period between the console versions and the PC version. So I'm just assuming they want to make sure that it works. Because they're big games, they're buggy games, glitchy games, so hopefully that is the case. But the three trailers focus on the three characters that you can see on the screen. Michael Franklin and, of course, Trevor, least but certainly not last. Um, to me, the the trailers, well, they show the characters and, and tell a little bit about them and their backs, backgrounds and where they basically come from. Um, it kind of paints a very stereotypical picture about all of them. Like, Michael is, is like a businessman who has, even though he has, like, wealth and money and cars and mansions, he still has a shitty personal life. Franklin is, is the kind of, uh, the very common thug, belongs to a street gang, wants to get out of there, also wants to be good for his gang, and whatever. And Trevor, Trevor is a redneck. <laughs> There's... Tre Tre there's not much to say about Trevor, to be honest. Um, well, there is, but we'll start with Michael. So, basically, the uh, the trailer consists of Michael having a chat with his therapist, it would seem, and then it shows glimpses of his personal life and, of course, his criminal life on the side. And, like I said, he he's a businessman, very successful at that, and has a mansion, has cars, has a pool, but his personal life is apparently kind of shitty, and he's he's trying to uh, figure out what to do with that, and of course, doing uh, some less lawful activities with the two other characters. I'm sure uh, some other sides will be will be revealed once we actually get the game, or even before that, because now it's kind of shallow with all of the characters, what they showed. But overall, Michael seems like a fairly interesting character. I think he likes chaos. The The, uh, the, the trailer was very action-packed. Had, uh, had him in a chase on an airport with a plane landing down and cars were flying everywhere and explosions and shit. And he apparently has a daughter. Um... And uh, he seems to be fairly protective over her, chasing a guy down, who then jumps off a balcony with her daughter s screaming, Please don't kill him! And of course, uh, I can't actually show the trailers. I wish that I could. But I kind of don't want to risk having copyright strikes. But then we move on to Franklin. Now Franklin is is very much like... CJ. There, I said it. Um, I'm not sure if he belongs to, or if the Grove Street gang is going to make a comeback. They were wearing all green in the uh, in the trailer, which is 
a very inter interesting point. So it could be that he is in Grove Street. I don't know if they've talked about it or not, but it kind of seems like it. But he's, he's basically struggling between getting out of the hood and being being a good asset for his can his gang and it showed a very uh a very different picture than Michael's trailer which was a bit of strip clubs, drive bys, gang shootings and whatnot. I don't know if they're gonna have the uh the gang territory thing from San Andreas. Hopefully not. I didn't really like that myself. But uh overall it was a very very cool trailer. Showed a bunch of bunch of uh conf confrontation uh, confrontations with the cops as well being chased by a cop cop a chopper a cop chopper i guess and uh overall it was a good trailer and franklin as a character is he seems interesting but but as i said with michael and pretty much all of them there has to be more to it than just wanting to get out of the ghetto uh they i don't think they showed any family of any kind not sure but still nice and then <laughs> like i i guess like i don't know if i could compare michael to any of the other main characters not nico not claude and certainly not um tommy from vice city but then ah uh, there's trevor now with Franklin and Michael, they were like struggling between two different kind of lifestyles. Now Trevor, this motherfucker is just, he just seemed crazy. Like he was going around beating people with bats in their fists and then shooting people and hanging on the, on the, um, the, the wing of an airplane and shooting stuff and blowing shit up and stealing cars and there was not much to say about him. He's, He's a he's a redneck and he apparently likes shoot shooting people and stealing cars and and stuff like that. Not much to say about him, so it's gonna be fun to see how how that character turns out. Cause according to the trailer, there's there's not a lot going on. Then again, I don't think there's a lot going on in his head to begin with. But uh, he he certainly has the funniest trailer out of all out of all of the. Uh, all of the characters, and yeah, I, th I think that's that's about it. But I do have to mention. Oh, so I just hit my table. I love the music that they pick for the trailers. Like Rockstar has the uncanny ability to pick the exact right songs that they need to basically make the trailer better. And uh, they did they did show a lot of stuff that probably will make a return um airplanes of course uh michael was i believe michael was playing golf at one point so that could make a mini game again i don't know if that was playable in uh in gay tony i do i know that one mission involved hitting a guy with uh golf balls at the golf course but i don't know if that's going to be like a full-fledged mini game or a full-fledged full-fledged game if they put effort into it. Um, other than that, of course, strip clubs are back. Um, let's see. I did watch the trailers twice today, so I should be able to remember, but I have a very shitty memory. Um, let's see. I don't... I can't remember any more stuff. But Rockstar always likes to tease things, the smallest of things that you notice if you're watching carefully in their trailers, but all in all, very, very good trailers showing off just the right amount of uh, stuff about the the uh, the main characters to get you interested, to get you want to see more. I, like I said, Trevor probably has the favorite one, in my opinion, but uh, the other two weren't bad at all at that, but that is going to be it. My little reaction impressions to the... Uh, to the trailers that Rockstar put out recently, and yes, I'm doing the game. If if it comes out on PC, I will LP the game. I will play through it and record it and commentate it and put it up on YouTube so you can watch it if you want. Oh God, I that's 
the most asked question I've ever received on YouTube. Are you going to do GJ5? Yes, I'm going to do it. There we go. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble on about GJ5. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I shall see you guys next time.